Hey Felicia, it's Maria. Uh, let's see if this works out. I uh, couldn't find a camera holder, so I'm going to try to do this the best I can. Um, so the first thing is uh, barking. So you want your dogs to be able to stop barking. Um, it's the loud, uh, shushing sound that you uh, make with your with your mouth, uh, very similar to uh, a sound that you make with like a spray can. So if say your dog is barking, um, you basically want to make the noise through your teeth. So for example, okay, that usually gets a dog's attention and Bentley and Sasha have been exposed to the, the can before. So using that to your advantage will help you. So again, that loud hissing, okay. And at the same time, you're pointing toward the dog to stop, okay. So I don't know if you can see, yeah, here we go. Um, so you see my dog's already reacting to it. He already knows, okay, whatever I was doing to stop. He knows that sound very well, um, even though he was not barking. So um, I'm not going to apologize to him for that because he was actually being a good boy. All right. So if you can do that while you're stepping in front of him too. So if, um, let me go ahead and switch the camera vision real quick. And I Your can dog show is you. barking. Go ahead and bark for me, Apollo. Say, arf. Come on, say, arf. Good job. Okay, so he's barking right now. So I want him to stop. So I'm going to point towards him and at the same time do that shush sound. Okay? Shh. That's enough. So you see how he actually turned his ears. He uh, knew what that meant. That meant stop whatever you're doing. Okay? Ah, shh. No. Okay, that's how I know that I got my dog's attention. Now he knows, okay, no barking, got it. I need to be quiet, All right? So again, uh, pointing at them, tell them to shush. Okay, keep your body pressure up and do not tower over them. Um, that would be bad. So, because uh, uh, you don't want them to be over towering like this. Okay, that's that's sending the signal to the dog wrong. You actually want to stand up straight and just keep walking towards them. Okay, so they back off and doing that pointer finger at the same time so they know, okay, I need to stop what I'm doing. All right, so that's for the barking. So now for the sit command, okay? So what you want to do is you want to be um, in line with your dog right here, okay? And you want to be able to give them a clear hand signal. So this hand signal for sit is a flat hand going up like this for your dogs. This means that the dog needs to sit down, okay? Having the hand above their head, sorry, he knows how to shake, and um, that way they think there's a tree above them. This gets them to sit with their bottom up down and their head up, okay? And it's a swoop of a hand like this, sit. Good job, okay? Okay, now for the down, okay? The flat, oh, I'm sorry, the hand signal for down is a flat hand going like this and going down towards the ground, okay? Or you can use a pointer finger and point downwards, okay? I'm gonna use Apollo as an example right here, okay? You have the flat hand right here and you start going downwards, okay? This gets the dog to use its nose to follow downwards. No, we're not shaking, we need you to go down. Very good, okay? So pointing downwards towards the ground and you notice I'm, uh, kneeling for this okay um, this means that uh, my dog is a very submissive type of dog so usually when you're standing upright and you're doing the down position um, he, they're not ready for it unless you are able to do it or with them confidently going downwards um, with the hand signal so again okay for the dog to excuse me to go down flat hand going down or pointing downwards to the ground now, Apollo even knows this trick very well, okay? The head down means put your head all the way down, okay? So that's a flat hand going down or pointer finger going down for a down. Now we're going to do the come when called, okay? I've already put uh, Apollo here in a stay command, which remember the stay is flat hand going up like this, standing up straight and going stay and moving backwards, okay? So once you're ready to call your dog, okay, you're going to do the signal of come, which is very, uh, it's, it's like asking a person to come here, all right? And I'm going to show you briefly what it looks like uh, from uh, the dog's point of view so they understand what you're trying to tell them. Someone called. All right, so I just briefly uh, stated that you put your dog in a stay, which is a flat hand going up like this, okay? 
So now I'm gonna ask Apollo to come towards me. So you tell him to stay and you back away. And like I said, the hand signal for come is very clear. It's a hand coming out like this and come, okay? That's what you need to do. And also you need to be excited that your dog's gonna come, all right? Because if you're not excited, then the dog's not gonna to wanna to come to you, especially when they're in trouble or you're yelling at them. I wouldn't wanna to come to you either, okay? So when I'm calling my dog, all right, okay, come on. There you go, that's a good boy. And once they get you lots of praise and lots of loving and sometimes even a treat, okay? If you really wanna get fancy, then you can ask, me, ask your dog to sit in front of you when they actually get to you. So you put your hand going up like this, okay? That means sit, all right? Okay, so now you want to put your dog to bed, all right? So like I was saying before, all you have to do is point toward the bed and say, go to your bed, okay? Um, Apollo is actually intently looking at me right now because I actually have my hand signal in a stay position right now. So that's how I'm able to get him to stay from the back right here of the camera. And um, because he knows right away when the magic words bed come out, that means go straight to your bed. So I went ahead and uh, set up a bed for him in his room over here. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, point to his bed and he is to go over there uh, from this position right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the door. All right. And clearly I'm going to ask him to come when called and then go to your bed. Okay, so here we go. Come, good boy. You're gonna point your finger toward the bed. Go to your bed. Okay. Now the Apollo is very well trained on go to bed means go straight to your bed and and lay down. Uh, some troubleshooting. If your dog does not go to its bed, uh, you can lead him towards there. Call him over. Make sure that you know he. It, you're excited that he's going to do this. A lot of times what people do is they tell their dog to go to bed and they're angry with them. Uh, we don't want that. We want them to think it, it, is a, um, it is a good thing. It's a command that they, they like to do. It's a time of relaxation. So sometimes what I'll even do is I'll even come over toward the bed and start pointing at him. You know, go, go to your bed. Good job. That's a good boy. And I start praising him right there and then to uh, go toward the bed and give him lots of love for that. <clears throat> so make sure that it's always a happy thing that what they're doing um, whenever you take them to a bed or a crate or anything like that. You don't want them to uh, think that they're in trouble per se. You want them to actually think, you know, oh, this is this is a good thing. And then once they're in their bed, uh, they know stay, so you can tell them, okay, stay. All right. Now, I don't know if you noticed that, but I kind of tapped his head a little bit uh, to get his attention. Um, it went something like this, okay? I tapped him and said, okay, stay, okay? And I did a double thing. So that way he knows, hey, there's my hand is doing something. Listen to it instead of just tell, getting up and saying stay. Um, that's too much um, anticipation and also anxiety. So I want him to just understand, no, I just want you to stay there. And I'm able to move away from him with him staying on the bed. And I could be talking to someone else or looking at this dog over here saying, hi, Pooches, okay? He still stays there. And if he stays there for a few uh, seconds or even a minute, I go back to him and I say, oh, what a good boy. That was good. Lots of rubbing. Good job. Good boy. Okay. And, okay, uh, you tell him good. Now, once you're ready to let them off the bed, there is a release command too, Okay. Um, his release man, command, I'm sorry, <clears throat> is the words, I'm sorry, the uh, letters okay. And at the same time, I say it excitedly because, again, this is supposed to be fun. It's not so much disciplinary. You want it to where the dog's excited that he did the command for you. So I'm going to go ahead and release him. Okay, Pablo, good job. And you see how he got up right away? Um, all dogs should learn a, a release command so that they know, oh, that what I did was right. Okay. A lot of people tend to think, oh, I just need to tell them to stay. And then, then that's it. You actually still have to give them affection throughout their entire life. You don't want them to be um, machines. So again, I'm going to go ahead and ask them again, go to your bed. Good boy. That's so good. And you see his attention is still on me. He's excited to do it. Um, and if I want to take it a step further, go ahead and put your head down, Paulo. Put your head down. Put your head down. Good job.
Okay, that's more of a relaxation. All right, so thank you, Apollo, for letting me use you. And Felicia, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, you know where to find me.